Hello guys, in this video I will continue monthly tradition on this channel to overview the tips and tricks from Twitter for the last month. So here's the series for November, I'm publishing it in December, 12 tips or so about Laravel and PHP. Let's go. The first tip from Punyapal, which comes from Pinkery source code is this. Two eloquent model methods is dirty and was changed. Roughly about the same thing, but in different life cycle moments. So if you want to check if the property of eloquent model was changed before saving that, then you can use is dirty. And then after you hit save, then is dirty becomes false. But then you can use the other method after saving. So if the email was changed during that life cycle, comparing previous and current eloquent model value, then on change on email, you may perform other actions. The next tip comes from Aniket, which is about a new feature in Laravel 11.32, which is grouping scheduled commands. So this is the new routes console file, as I understand in Laravel 11, because it changed. In Laravel 10 and before it used to be app console kernel PHP, now it's in routes console, or actually you can use both in Laravel 11 from what I remember. So anyway, if you have more than one command at the same time with same properties, then you can group them like this, similar to grouping routes. So you group routes with the same middleware prefix and stuff like that. So this is very similar. The next tip comes from Newton Job here on Twitter, and this is about jobs. And not sure if you're aware about this behavior at all. So now it's new syntax to achieve the same thing. But basically the case is if your queued job is related to some eloquent model, like in this example podcast, which is doing kind of route model binding, just binding to the queued job. But if by that time when the queued job is actually executed, that model is deleted from the database, by external user for whatever reason. That actually happens in real life because sometimes queue jobs are executed after minutes or even after hours since they were scheduled. So in that case, if you have property delete when missing models true, or a new thing if you have PHP attribute on top of the class, then that queue job would not get executed because the model isn't there in the database anymore. The next tip comes from myself, which is a PHP tip, which we used in one of our filament projects. Basically, you have a class with a lot of constants here. And how do you get the list of those constants into array or some kind of other structure? So there is a thing called reflection class in PHP, which allows you to get a lot of properties and methods around PHP class. So the code is this. This is a screenshot from Tinkerwell. I will actually open that separately and zoom that in. So you have new reflection class from whatever class you want. In this example, it's a filament class and then get constants is a method which returns this array of keys and values. And if you perform such internal operations with PHP code, I do advise you to get inside of reflection class and check out what's inside. On top of get constants, there are a lot of functionality. The next tip comes from Punyapal and every month you notice the same names repeating because they tweet a lot of magic small things. So they deserve to be repeated multiple times in these videos. So a cheat sheet with question mark operators in PHP. Again, let's zoom that in as a separate image and let's quickly run through that. So if else shorthand with one question mark, same but shorter with explanation of default to Baz if it's false or false C, which is null or false or similar. Then this one is interesting. Did you know you can combine those, chain them with each other? Also null safe operator is used pretty often in eloquent relationships, for example, because that relationship may not exist and it would not throw the error of property on non-existing object. Then null coalescing assignment. Then there are also nullable types in the functions and also list continue. So I will link that full tweet in the description below. So you may check it out yourself. The next quick tip comes from Harris. It's about collection methods. So did you know there's collection times? Again, let's zoom that in a bit and see what's inside. So basically, if you want to generate the collection with some kind of logic for each of the elements, collection times is your friend. So you can generate five elements with the formula of one, two, three, four, and five multiplied by itself. The next tip comes from Nunu Maduro, which is a new syntax in recently released PHP 8.4. Now, finally, we don't need to have these parentheses. What a complicated word. And I will totally definitely not miss those two characters in the code. 
The next tip comes from myself, which is a longer tweet about what changed in Laravel 11 about APIs, but the part that I want to emphasize is what if you want to add versioning to your API, this is the new way in the bootstrap app file, you provide the default prefix, which is v1 and then then function, you define all the other versions or separate routes files for other API versions or generally for any other route files. The next tip comes from Benjamin and he learned that tip from OpenAI mini model. This is one of the case of using AI assistance. Sometimes they teach you about something interesting that you didn't know. They do hallucinate, so don't take their word for granted. Always double and triple check. But this is the thing that actually is legit. So if you have product with reports and you want to get the latest report, for example, this is by default the field name which you can use in the order by descending or order in general. So the name of the relationship, the name of the field created at, and then max between them. That works similarly with count, with average, and with sum. So in the middle, that max is changed to one of those words. The next tip comes from Backpack for Laravel, and this is kind of a shorter way or maybe more English word way to refer to relationships. So instead of having where, where, you can do where belongs to and then model name, model object, and also in a more English way, instead of checking the author ID, you can check is post author is user. Much more readable. Not sure I'm a big fan of that, but actually the syntax is present all over eloquence. So often when someone else reads the Laravel code, even if not Laravel developer, they would read that almost as English language. The next tip comes from Osama and it's about toggle method for pivot tables. Again, let's zoom in and this is the old way. So user likes where exists, then you detach, otherwise you attach. But you can do that in one line with method toggle. And not only that, you may pass multiple IDs. To be honest, I'm not sure how would that work if only one or two of them are in the database. So those would get detached and number three would be attached. Not sure, write in the comments below or experiment yourself, but it is possible to pass multiple IDs. And final tip comes from myself, not exactly tip, I wanted to finish with the result of my poll with kind of a realistic overview of my audience with Tailwind and Bootstrap, almost a thousand votes. So a bit cautious with interpreting those results. It's not like 5K or 10K votes, but still. What I want to emphasize is that Tailwind is by far the number one popular framework for the front end among Laravel developers, again, among these thousand votes. But also another emphasis is 30% still use Bootstrap. So it's kind of the same thought, but from two angles. Basically, if you do still use Bootstrap, that's fine. And you don't have to switch to Tailwind. But at the same time, if you are a Bootstrap user and hate Tailwind and don't understand that, there are 64% of people who do understand and use it specifically only in Laravel projects. Another proof of constantly it depends in Laravel projects, but as always, we can discuss everything in the comments below. That's all the tips for this month, and we will continue the tradition in January with tweets from December. That's it for this time, and see you guys in other videos.